Psychedelic industry has arrived in Colorado. In 2022, voters agreed to legalize psilocybin, launching our state into uncharted territory. Yeah, Colorado has experience in something like this. The medical marijuana industry exploded 15 years ago. Dozens of dispensaries opened before state and local leaders were ready, forcing them to craft regulations for an industry that was already in full swing. This time around, they want to get it ahead of it. Your reporter Kelly Worthman explains the step Denver is taking to put together some new rules. With a wide variety of specialties. Inside My Denver Therapy are tranquil rooms where people receive mental health support. I kind of started it under the umbrella of trauma. And one day, clinical director Courtney Rose Chung hopes to use this space for assisted psychotherapy with psilocybin, better known as magic mushrooms. This particular drug can have a profound impact on people's brains in really as little as two sessions. I mean, some of that research has been done on OCD, on uh, treatment resistant depression. Now that Colorado is in the process of medicalizing mushrooms, Chung is another step closer to helping numerous patients she says would benefit from the drug. Since this law was passed, we have had thousands of people email trying to see if it's available yet and if they can get in. But the state is still working on regulations for so-called natural healing centers. Though applications for such businesses will start being accepted by year's end, there are a lot of questions up in the air. The potential benefit of psilocybin, I think that maybe the greater public doesn't understand or they think that it's like, oh, people are just like tripping and like something happens. I think a lot of citizens have questions. We as the city and as regulators have a lot of questions. That's why the Denver Department of Excise and License is forming a work group to explore what policy and licensing laws should look like in the city. Well, it's brand new for Denver, and it is something that, again, Denver can lead the way on. And they're asking just about anyone to apply to join the Natural Medicine Work Group. We want to hear from people who have been in this space for several years and have that experience. We want to hear from youth education advocates, youth protection advocates, and really just the community. If it's going to feel like it's going to impact them, we want to hear from them and hear about the concerns that they may have and how we can mitigate those. Chung says she's pleased Denver is taking this step, one she hopes will include greater discussion on how to better inform the public about psilocybin and what clinical practices like hers would offer. We are not in the business of just having people come in and get high and see what it's like. That's, that's not therapeutic. To prioritize people who truly have tried everything and are just desperate for, for healing and for help because it could change their life is, you know, what we're in the business of. We want, we want to help people get better. In Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. And if you're interested in applying for the Natural Medicine Work Group, you can visit our website, cbscolorado.com. Keep in mind, applications are due by March 13th as those public meetings are set to begin March 28th.